Hey guys, uh, I hope you are doing great and uh, welcome to a new video. I mean, uh, it's actually the first video that I do ever with my own voice. So uh, guys, please, uh, I am not a native English speaker, so please bear with me if I do any mistakes or something. And uh, let's get straight into it. So uh, in this video guys, uh, I will show you some tips and tricks that might be helpful for you that uh, you can do inside of a full studio. So uh, let's say that you made a layer like uh, this one, you know, it has uh, 13 sounds and uh, it sounds really good, you know, I spend a lot of time choosing the sounds and everything. And let's say that uh, you want to save it, you know, you can use it in another project or something. So what you have to do is uh, insert a layer. I mean, actually a layer. And uh, we just uh, set uh, all the sounds to this layer just by clicking set, set children and uh, you know by selecting them and uh, I can just save it here save layer state as and let's call it you know DM there and then uh, I loaded uh, another project so if you go to the to the browser here and uh, channel presets you will find it here so now we can just uh, load it into our channel rack. Then uh, we have, uh, you know, just the same sounds, the same synths, and uh, yeah, the same everything. And uh, we can also do the same thing in the mixer. Let's say I have uh, this bus here that has uh, all these effects. And uh, let's say I want to save them. Maybe I can use them later. I just uh, right click on the channel and file just save mixer track state as and let's give the name for example you know edm stack effects or actually effects and uh, we can load it just by going to the browser here and uh, mixer presets and you'll find it here so you have to just to drag it on into the channel and uh, there we go. But basically I just uh, used as a starting point, you know, I just uh, don't use the same effects, you know, for example, maybe I have to change the EQ, you know, maybe I have to change the settings here on the multiband compressor or OTT. So I just don't use the same settings because it will sound bad, you know. Also uh, another cool tip that, uh, I mean, let's say I have here a truck that, that I worked on, you know, I just uh, made the drop, made the, breakdown and uh, the build up and let's say I want to finish arranging this track so what I can do is uh, I just load a reference track here but uh, I'm not going to use it for mixing but uh, I will use it you know for arrangement so what I mean by that all you have to do is uh, create time markers for example this is the intro of the track and uh, here goes uh, for example the first breakdown I mean, uh, it's an extended version, so uh, if you want to make an extended version, you can just follow it, used as a framework, you know. And I think uh, this is the drop, maybe. Let's just take a quick listen. Oh. Yeah, here's the drop. And here goes the build up, I think, you know, just eight bars build up. So you can just uh, finish your track based on these time markers later, which is really a good helpful tip if you don't know how to arrange or something. So uh, another cool thing that you can actually do is uh, create templates, you know. So once once you launch a full studio, it comes with this setup, you know, you just have a, a limiter in the master channel. And uh, I don't want that. Let's say, for example, uh, I'm working on headphones, so I want to listen to my song in mono. So let's replace it with uh, stereo shaper and uh, set it on the mids preset which basically kills all uh, the side signals and I also want uh, a frequency analyzer for example you know like spin and uh, you can have any plugin that you want here for example if you want to have a I don't know maybe an EQ or a multiband compressor or whatever and um, also another thing that I really want is uh, 
to have some channels dug to the right here so I will select these channels here and um, dug to right and let's change the color maybe to something like to, I like this color and uh, yeah they will always stay here and what I will what I, what I can do with them is uh, let's say uh, I have uh, like uh, leads and everything I want to route them, route them to this bus or maybe I want to add reverb so all my sounds have the same reverb you know and let's say that I want to whenever I load the full studio it comes with this uh, setup so uh, what I can do is I go to file here and uh, save as I have to save it in just navigate into a uh, full studio installation and uh, you'll see there is a folder called templates let's create another folder for example you know my template and uh, let's give it a name for example my template Now I have to open a full studio again and uh, to set it as a default template you just go to file here and you from template change default template and you'll find it basically here so now whenever you launch a full studio it comes loaded with these plugins and everything with this template basically. So uh, I hope these tips and tricks were helpful guys. Like my video if you enjoyed it. If you have any question or a suggestion for a video, just leave it in the, uh, the comments. Subscribe so I can make more videos. And uh, have a great day. See you soon.